Now we're going to start working on the outline of our project. And I will erase all the objects we drew already because these were just for our, like for demonstration purposes, basically. So what I will do is I will just open a big selection window and then I selected all of them and you can delete them by using the delete button on the keyboard or you can use the erase command by typing E and then hitting return and that will get rid of all the objects. I didn't talk about this earlier, but in case you're wondering, we have here an X and Y uh, and it looks like we have like a coordinate system here, which AutoCAD supports, but I don't use it and I haven't, I haven't seen people uh, use it like within the architecture and interior and design industry. Maybe some people do, but I haven't found using like this system uh, to like for like any benefit or special advantage. So for the most part, I'm just going to be drawing like in this direction of AutoCAD. Uh, what I've seen everyone does for the most part, they draw like on the right side uh, of like the green Y reference, reference line and people would put reference stuff on this side. So just something quick to mention it. Maybe I should have talked about it when we talked about the interface, um, but that's about it. And in case you're wondering about the crit, you can keep it on or turn it off from the status bar on the bottom. And it's this icon right here, but I like to keep it, it's up to you. Now I'm gonna use the polyline to do the outline. So I will do polyline, PL, then hit return. And then we're gonna start somewhere here. And then the first dimension I have is 22. And then I'll zoom out, I'll give direction and go up. I have 82 then here. And then you'll see like now we're starting to do the outline um, of the of the walls of the project. And then we will like give them thickness and add doors and windows um, and go over everything you need to know. That's 11. I am referencing here like some dimensions I wrote earlier. So it was another 11 basically. And then here we're gonna do 20, 20 feet. And then going down, I will do 47, and then another 20, 20 feet. Then we'll go up six feet, and then go to the left by 11 feet. And then here we'll close back to here. So when I'm working with the outline, I like to add dimensions. So that way I know, like I made sure I drew everything right. And I usually, that's how I check like um, how I did the drawing. So here, now we're gonna start talking about the dimension command. So the dimension commands, you can find them here on the left side, and you will see we have a few of them, but the one I like to use is called dimension align, which is this icon right here. So I will select it, and then from here, the way the dimension command works, this one specifically is you click on one corner, and then another corner, and then you would place the dimension. Now you're looking at this, you're probably thinking like all I'm seeing is just lines, I'm not seeing a number or a value, the problem with it by default is that it comes out small and we need to modify it. And here you go, you can see like, it doesn't tell us if this is inches or if this is feet and it's coming out like at a very small size. So this is one of the settings that we need to modify in AutoCAD, just like we did with the units earlier. To modify the dimension and change the text size, we will do that from a window called the Dimension Style Manager. And to access it, we can just click on this icon right here. And then from here, we will get this window that shows us the standard. Another way, of course, is if you type the, the shortcut to it and you just type DIM style, that will also give us access to this window. But anyway, from here, you will see there's a standard style that is highlighted. You might see another style called annotative. I don't have it on my end, but we're not going to cover that and we're not going to use it. So you want to use the one called standard. Uh, and then from here, what we will do is click on the gear icon and then we will click modify. Now we will get another window uh, where we have additional settings related to the dimension. There's a total of six settings we are going to change here um, so for the dimension to be like to show up properly for our use. Uh, and the first one, I'm gonna go kind of by order. Uh, the first one I wanna highlight is by going to the primary units. So just like we did with the units earlier where we changed the drawing units from decimal to architectural, we're also gonna do the same here and we're gonna switch it to architectural. So that way we can see the dimension in inches and feed value. So the next one we're going to do is add the text tab. So here we will change the text height. We will make it uh, four inches, okay? And then we will go to, so this is the second setting. The next one, we are going to go to the symbols and arrows uh, tab. And then from here, I would like to change the 
the arrow shape from the from the arrow like this from the arrow head this one i'm going to change it to the one called architectural tick okay and then the arrow size i'm also going to match the same value i'm going to do four inches and then the next one from the lines i'm also going to do i'm also going to do these two right here these two values where it says extend beyond dimension lines uh, this is like the distance where the dimension jumps from the geometry so you want to place that and then the same here oh i'm sorry beyond dimension line that's the one like uh, right after the dimension and then we have the offset from origin we will place it also at four inches so we have the units we change the text we change the arrow sizes uh, and their shape and now we change these two settings and then we're going to click ok and then we're going to close and now when we zoom in at the dimension you will see like it's showing now properly and the text is legible the scale of the floor plan we are currently drawing is a little big so maybe this dimension is not the dimension size is not ideal so i'm thinking to create another style and it's a chance to show you how to create additional dimension styles with different sizes so the same we will go to the dimension style manager but this time we will type it and then we will get the same window and then from this window we will click on the plus icon and then this one i will just call it large for example and you will see it will copy from the standard style that we modified earlier and we're going to click continue and then from here what i will do is change basically the text uh, i'll just make it i think i'll make it double the size so i'll do eight uh, eight inches here and then i'll do the same for the arrow sizes and then the lines i will also modify them to be uh, eight inches and then here i'll also do eight inches and as you see here in the preview, for the most part, they look a little big compared to the drawing, but for the most part, this is looking good. We will click OK. And then if I want to switch to make the large one the current style, I'll right click on it and set current, and then I'll close. So what does that mean is that when we add dimensions, this will be the default. So here when I do a dimension, uh, I lost the dimension command. OK, I'm going to long press here, and then we're going to access this one dimension linear so i'll click on the same place right here and you will see it comes out double the size versus to the dimension we created earlier generally you would create multiple dimension styles depending on the project size that you're working on so that way you can like alternate between the different sizes and use one that works for your purpose so for the purpose of floor plans usually these sizes work but anyway to save you time i actually created a few dimension styles that you can basically just copy and paste within your project or drawing and that will load like all the different styles uh, with all the different sizes like with the recommended size and i'll show you it so basically it's this file right here so what i will do to like copy these dimension styles from this file to our drawing is i will select all of them and then from here i will do command c and then i'll back i'll go back to our project and then i'll place it here i'll do command v right here and that will place it on my drawing and now you will see when we go to the dimension style manager i'll click on it again from this icon and then here you will see that all the styles got loaded and just so you know just to show you how you can use this um, you basically can reference like the uh, the style name uh, from the left and like on the right i wrote like the scale that is recommended to use so for our purpose, we're gonna I'm gonna start using it immediately. So I will get rid of the, the dimensions we created, and now I will switch the current dimension style. I will use the one called forty eight. This is the size that's recommended for um, for like a quarter inch scale uh, of a floor plan, and usually it's good for a floor plan. So here, what I will do is I'll use it. Click here. And then here so this one maybe i'll go with the with the next style so maybe let's do instead of the quarter so let's do the one that is 3 sixteenths of an inch uh, 64. this one will give us a bigger size of a dimension size or like the text of it essentially so we'll go back here and we will switch and make this one the current instead and then i'll close and then we'll go back to the dimension command and i'll click on this corner and then this corner and place the dimension and i just like this text size, I think it's good for the rest of uh, the tutorial for that. One more thing I want to mention about the dimension command is that AutoCAD actually has multiple dimension commands available for your use. Uh, the one I'm using, again, is called dimension linear. You can access additional commands by uh, holding, clicking and holding on this icon, 
and you will see a list of these commands and you can like alternate between them. We might use the one called dimension align down the line. But for the most part, I use the one called linear, uh, the one that's angular. This one allows you to measure the angle basically. And then this one for the arc, uh, this one, these two are related to the circle. I haven't used the last two, the ones called jogged and ordinate. I'm not familiar with them, um, never dealt with them before. So I don't, I'm not sure if you're gonna need to use them, but anyway. Um, I recommend using linear, align, and the rest if you ever need them. There's one more cool dimension command available in AutoCAD, and it's this one right here. Uh, it's just called dimension. So I'm going to click on it. And this one, the way it works, it's interesting where it will measure the object without you like specifying the points. So for example, if I put the cursor above like this line here, you will see it will try to create like a dimension of the entire object. Um, and it recognizes like the beginning and the end of it. And then based on where you put the mouse, it will choose like the direction, whether if I move it to the right, it will place it on the right side. And then if I move to the left, uh, if I click now, it will place it on the left. So you just need to then like specify how far from the object is. So I don't use this one in my workflow, but you're welcome to use it as well. Uh, I know it's pretty fast, but I haven't like kind of used it. so. Uh, I think we'll just use it now just to place the rest of the dimensions. Um, maybe I'll start using it going forward uh, for future tutorials. So we'll place this here. I like to align the dimensions. And then we'll do this one as well. And then I'm, I want to see this line right here. Okay, so this line to here. And then I think we got all of them for the most part. Uh, I'm just going to do, so here's here's a scenario where this is not very handy, is that I want to measure from this corner to this corner, so this one is not going to maybe allow me to do that, but let's try. I think I can click here, I can click here, okay, so it's coming out a lot, like it's coming out angular, but I do want it to the right side, so okay, I think it's not a bad, it's not a terrible command, so maybe we'll keep using it. But anyway, I'm going to click escape now, and I'm going to select this dimension. Uh, as you can see, the control points for the dimensions are different than the rest. So this one will allow me to stretch it here. Uh, and I want to stretch this one. This one, I'm actually going to move it. So that way it's here. And then uh, and then these two can stay here. This is all good. I think one thing I want to show you is that you can stretch the dimension, even though you're referencing like from that point, you can just stretch down. So that way it's a little away. So this one is to here so i just want to make them like showing the overall and for us like to not conflict them with like with other lines that we have like to not conflict them with the wall lines so i like cleaning them it's up to you you're welcome to do similar to everything i'm doing okay and i think we have all the dimensions and then just one more here to fix and we are good to go to the next one